it's Potmos and nice of you to join me for the continuing adventures with our Max Garden House Town on map 6. Now we do have quite a few Max Garden Houses, so that is working. We can see a lot of these houses also still have a lot of veggies in because we can only buy so many and resell so many, especially if we have all these Max Garden Houses, how can we resell everything? But I think that's going to be fixed. Once we get to the point where we can get row houses. And maybe it's an interesting time now to start at least planning all of that. Here we have another big garden house. I want to move that one up. They're building this one now. All the trees from this one are removed. So they can put this one down soon too. Let's get the gazebo up here. Finish the housing. We were going to get our next sheep farm. And we do have our first sheepies in. So that is working. I like that too. I don't really have the ladies to occupy them all, but uh, that'll be fine in the end. And um, it might be really interesting to start working towards some row houses that we can maybe build somewhere in this area. Or as we already talked about on this part of the river. There's just so many things to do and consider that... Um, oh well, we just also have to wait for the building queue to be built. So all of that has to be taken into consideration now this is also a nice patch for a lot of industries because we already have industries here so first of all let us check if there's any sand present well there is sand present not in this area that's unfortunate but there is sand present here and here this could also be an interesting place now is there also some clay present here yes there's also some clay present here because, of course, we need clay and sand, I believe, for bricks. So we have those. We need water for it, too. We need charcoal and things like that. So it might be interesting to uh, start worrying about where to put this up. Now, here we have clay and sand close to each other. Eh, not that close. Sand is all the way up to there. So in the middle of our screen now. And then the clay, uh, the clay can go next to it, I guess. Oh, that could actually work, I think. Let's build a sand pit right here. Place it down. Let's just plan it and then see what happens. If we can now, yeah, we can build the clay pit straight next to it. That's good. All right, so those two we have here now as a plan. Then we can get to the brickworks from clay, sand, water, and charcoal. So they need to get to the river at some point. What we could do is in this case place it like this then place one on the other side too maybe like this so the entrances are on the same side and then we are going to need a lot of charcoal here so why not make a little charcoal alley here so that we will have plenty of charcoal every moment we need it all right, that's that. Then we need to store some stuff here. And I guess the bricks can go be stored right here. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing this slightly different. Let's build this one right here. Let's get rid of this one. We'll make it very close to the other one because then we can make a cart parking in case they need it right up here. All right, so we have the brickworks. We have a lot of charcoal pits that nobody is yet to fill, but they will do that soon enough. Let's do apply to all, and the carter and the wagoner can also do that. That's fine. Let's raise the wages and do apply to all as well. Now, also, kids can fill these up, so that might be interesting. It's looking for laborers, but apparently there are none. Now, we also need some water then. Well, that could just be two water platforms. I think that should be good enough. I hope these are a good place. And now we also have some space to expand this even further if we want to. And uh, since the brickworks needs clay, sand, water and charcoal, we have everything present. So we can just use the storages for storing some bricks. And at least now we have set it up. That leaves a lot of room here for housing, I think, so that they have workers as well. So I think this is moving in the right direction. This house was already done. They even have time to do some sewing in. The gazebo is done and now they're building the next house already. So they do not waste any of their time. Here the gazebos are up. 
Just a couple more houses to go. I think the sheep farm can go, by the way, because we don't need it. And we still don't have bricks, of course, so the brick arches can also be moved. This village house still needs a lot of wood removed, so we'll move that over there. And now we just focus on housing and then get all the stuff slowly up for the brickworks. I think that might be good. All right, messenger from their Karchi. Let's sell some charcoal. Let's sell 1,000 buckwheat. Why not? We're going to get a new harvest in soon anyway. We can sell 500 shoes. Ah, that would be good. Well, we have some salt. So we don't have to buy that. I think I'd like to buy a little bit more lime. Uh, maybe buy... No, we don't need to buy leather because we have plenty of shoes. Anyway, let's buy the leather. That's the iron. That's good. Apples? No, not yet. I think we're gonna get apples soon. We have the orchards up. Two years, two years, two years, one year. All right. So if these two were there already... If both were two years when the um, year started... Then we will get apples from them soon. And I would really much, very much like that. I guess we have to start storing them then. So let's put in apples in here. Um, let's just do it all at one go. So also plan to sell some apple. Oh, we already did. Very good. It's almost like I knew we're going to get apples. Let's put some apples in here too. 1,000. Are we selling apples here? Or do we have space to sell some apples? We're not doing any beetroot. So let's change that for apples. And then there's no beetroot in here anymore. So that worked out. Okay, that's fixed. I think we have to do the same here then. Yep, let's put in apples. And I'm really hoping that at the point where the bricks will start to come out we can build row houses that means that we can sell a lot of the stuff that all the garden houses are producing and that will help our town move further too now we can already see we have some people looking for a job that's probably people that like for instance live too far away to fill these jobs see because they still have openings so they can't go there and they can't go here because these have openings too but we do have ladies looking for a job so it might be wise at some point, although I don't really want to do it, to build some non-garden houses here too. But I think I just want to go with max garden houses. But we also need to remove all the trees here. So it's, an, um, it's a tough call, basically. But it's too far for a lot of people to go there and actually work. So we have a lot of houses here. Probably a lot of people that want to work. But they're not going to go all the way up there. Now, this might help out a little bit, but I hope it's not too far from most. Ah, this is a good, this is good. I mean, at least means that the first charcoal pit's gonna get up. I like that. Well, these are both doing uh, tanning work now. Two badges, two badges, nice. That's gonna be a lot of leather soon. That will be so nice. So we have a lot of broadcloth here, but nothing else. No hemp or flax, no hemp or flax, but we'll get some harvest in soon. No leather at this point, but once the harvest comes in, of course, we'll get a lot of uh, stuff so that they can produce clothing again. A messenger from Derkachi really likes her stuff. He wants all of it. Let's buy the iron too, so that we never run out. Do we still have our one smithy? Yeah. All right. It's keeping up quite nicely. So that's good. Uh, however, that's always a question. Is it good enough? Well, what if we add some warehouses here? So that we can, for instance, store some nails and stuff. That would be nice. We have a carts already here that aren't even used. So we don't need extra carts in here. But if we get these two up at some point... We can store all of this. And let's start making some horseshoe as well, by the way. And then um, we can have a lot more stuff, actually. All right, we have a lot of stones present already. That's great. So I don't have to worry about stone for a while. We have a lot of limestone, too. So we could start the lime kiln and things like that. 
But hey, we can't build everything at one go. And we're already getting the charcoal piles filled right now. Great job. They are busy building this house. Great job. And then they're going to build these three, which should go relatively quickly, I think. And then we can really focus on the whole brickworks. And I'm not going to be able to put two brickworks to work at the same time, I think. I think we have to do that a bit slow. So we'll start up one, see if that actually works. If we can actually get like the five guys that we need, because that might already be a little issue. And then, uh, and then we'll have to see further on, but uh, oh well. Maybe we should get, at some point, another construction office. Oh, so many things I want. <laughs> Wool and broadcloth. That's good. That's good. We now. Oh, we also need sheepskin. But these don't have that. So yeah, that's not going to work. Might now be time to switch one of these to tan some sheepskin. Yep. Yeah. Let's leave it on leather, because they have almost everything to tan some leather. So they can put up the next batch. Yeah, let's just get this, and then we will switch it out. See, these are also gathering the raw materials now. Or we just need to build an extra one. That could also be the solution, of course. If we just build an extra tanner for the sheep, that might just do the trick. Uh, uneven terrain. Why? Alright, well, let's move it like this. Then we also have space to do another one if we have to. And we just get an extra tanner for sheep heights. Now, I want to move this one up a bit so that we uh, can get that done quickly and start doing some sheep heights too because I think at some point sheepies will be also ready to be slaughtered. We have a ram from three years old and a one-year-old ram. So we can already slaughter the first rams and get some sheep hides and start working on the warm clothing. So that is an option now. I think we should take that option serious. All right, they're busy bringing all the stuff in. These two just, so yep, there's everything. And there it goes, very good. Three badges of 500 hides being that's 1,500. If they do the same here, we'll have 3,000 leather being tanned. Well, shoemakers, I hope you're well rested. Right now, you don't have leather. But that got, that's going to change. September, November, December. That's fast. September, November. Eh, this is probably just going to make one month later, but still. Interesting. All right, this house is almost up. We have apples already? No. It'll be interesting to see if we get apples this year. I really hope so. You can never be certain about it. So always just hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> Housing available. Good. Nobody marries. So we should get a new family in. I wonder if we got a new family up here. Yeah, that was a new family. That was a new family too. So we got some extra workers in. This is almost filled. Almost filled. I wonder if you only put three in. If it has an impact on the harvest or something like that. That you will get lower yield. I don't know. Maybe. We should try that. Oh, we can't do... Oh, I don't think we have activated seasonal hiring yet. Didn't we do that? I want seasonal hiring, of course. And then we can tell them in here that on season, I just want four in. And then I believe like all these months, they can be out. I don't really know the exact months, but we'll do it like this. That should leave some extra ladies free. Not right now, of course. Yep, yeah, we're going to get the first apples in. Oh, great. Oh, then I'm actually going to set this to five again. 
These will not be getting any apples right now. I think no. Okay. But these are getting apples. Right. Let's just get all of these out. They can maybe go here, help out. And then um, next year, at least we'll have extra ladies present during the sewing months and things like that. Because they're not working in there. This is making cheese. I like that too. First apples are already transported. That's a great deal too in here as well. So they're really transporting the apples throughout town. Yep, here also apples incoming. I like that the system is quite smart with that. So those apples will be really transported throughout the town. And not just being brought to the closest one. And then until it's filled up. And then it'll go to the next one. It's actually quite smart. So... That is also very helpful in my eyes to uh, to make sure that you get uh, food everywhere. Otherwise, it can be quite tough to manage everything if that system is not smart enough. Well, there were a lot of trees here when we started. We removed all of them. I like that. Let's just keep up the good work now and make sure that we uh, can expand even further later. They don't have too many trees in here right now. So they're probably taking the walks all the way up here all the time to get rid of the trees. We needed more than 18 when we started removed. They even get two logs from one tree. So they're doing a very good job removing all the trees out there. I have to keep that up. Now I just want these houses done. They have all the resources. This house already has some resources too. And now they just really need to focus on building it to get the next house done. The tanner up. And then we're going to get towards the uh, sand pit, clay pit, and the first brickworks. We have the wood, we have the nails, we have the clay, we have the stone. Yay. Alright, a little bit of speed 3. Let's just hope my computer doesn't crash, but uh, I think it's worth it. Let's speed up a little bit. It's just a bit of waiting. I know I don't like to speed up too much, too often, because I just want to show everything. But I would also love to see like these four blocks being done and how that looks... I think it's a real interesting neighborhood. It's like these small little communities in a town where everybody knows each other. They can all talk to each other. You do have your privacy and stuff, but yeah, I like that. It's uh, To me, that uh, would seem like a nice community where I actually would want to live. That just looks so amazing. All right, let's buy the stuff that we need. We don't have to sell anything, although we do already have 1,500 apples. That is a great amount. I think we can actually sell a bit of uh, olive oil, not olive oil, sunflower oil, because we have so much. So if we just put 500 in here and sell then 500, we can spare that. And I think there's a new batch of sunflowers incoming, so we'll get more oil. We just don't have to sell it too often because then we will probably quickly run out. Alright, they're building the next house. All the resources are gathered. Not everything is brought yet, but everything is gathered. So that's great. Let's just bring it in and make sure that we get it all done. Are they bringing resources to the tanner yet? Yep, first wood's coming in. The three charcoal pits are done there. Well, one is still burning, but the rest is done. Yeah, more and more being brought in. I guess we have quite a few workers that don't have to help out on the farms and stuff. Or oh, they just get paid better right there. Maybe I did not raise the pay on the farm yet. Did I do that? 200%? Ah, yeah, but it's all filled. So they're really eager on working on the farm because you get a very good pay for that. Look at these nicely, completely filled hay barracks, though. That is so cool. We have four completely filled hay barracks. And if you have this game and you don't do it, please zoom in every now and then and just take a look at all the details. I forget it often, so that's why I tell you now. Just take a look at all these details here. How everything looks, how it, cool it is. Just the fences, the shadows that come from it. It just looks so nice. I really love it. And... Um, it's it's one of the things I appreciate so much about this game. The level of detail. Look at this. Collecting all the plants. 
putting it in here these are potatoes you can actually see in the basket that these are potatoes so you can see the difference if you go over here you can really see that this is something else this is not potatoes no because this is buckwheat so even those differences you can see so that's so cool in this game here we get hemp so uh, maybe soon we can check out how that looks i think these are already going there no they're going to another field or home could also be the case Right, let's see who's going to get into the hemp field. Nobody. Oh, they're still busy here, of course. That's why. This needs to be harvested first. And then this one will come in. Oh, well, so many things to do on a farm. And now they're bringing in the buckwheat. And then they have to process the harvest. And then you actually get the buckwheat. That's also one of those things that I really love about this game. The amount of detail that goes into it. They don't just harvest the field and up. Oh, you have the right stuff. No. You really have to um, process it as well in your farmhouse. And that's just so cool. Alright, the next house was ready. And a new family is already settling there. So that's great. Let's now wait until these are done. Once they have had all the workers in, that field will be done. And then people will start coming towards this field now they have so many workers here i think some of them might already be coming to this field soon because i really want to show the um, the hemp as well when it's harvested can't zoom in any further so this is it but there comes the first guy now why is he starting here somebody else is already assigned to start on the front here but that worker just simply did not get that that's why he's starting here so it's not like a bug or something or that they start in the wrong place it is just that it's programmed somebody picks this spot and doesn't a certain amount of work and um if the other worker that lives closer comes in later he'll get assigned the next spot but then it looks like this guy just gets in and doesn't start where he's supposed to be starting but that's just how the work is assigned so that's how the game mechanics work and i don't mind i really love this so look at this you see all the bundles of hemp laying there and then of course later on they will bring everything in you can see all the baskets still standing there all the stuff is there now it might be very tempting to bring everything in of course straight especially if you get close to winter but most of the stuff standing in the field won't spoil all the stuff that's still really standing on top and is not harvested that will spoil as soon as the winter comes so it's better to leave the stuff there because they can still pick it up even when the snow comes but everything that is not already completely harvested that will perish straight away so i'd like to just leave them to the harvest and not just bring in everything straight off and then we'll see all right what can we get here nothing we need anything we need to sell not really nah i don't think so nope maybe some clothing but i don't think we have enough yet no we haven't have enough to sell all right well they're bringing in the bundles of hemp that's cool it's almost like the hemp is still standing there oh wow they just took all the leaves i guess so certain leaves and things that they use from the hemp and now the field's done and there it goes all the stuff goes out of it now it seems like this farm has a lot harder time to hire people so hopefully some of the hirees from this farm can now also go there but of course this is much further out for a lot of people so they can't be hired that easily solution could be to add some houses to this area that could help but uh, we'll see for now we'll just leave everything as it is as we see this tanner is now up these are gonna do some sheepskin um i think i'm just gonna do it like this apply to all and apply to all then everything is set to this one as well there's now guys in there they can start to collect all the goods and that means that we can now also start to uh, slaughter some animals we have a one-year-old ram and that's it so at least we have one and here we have a couple more two three there's one more actually so that's already number four number five all right we'll do five so that we can just straight off start with the first batch and the heights won't spoil i think that's a good way to do it then we're gonna do these later we'll let them do the sheepies first so let's see how that goes slaughterhouse should now be picking up some sheeps soon they will also slaughter cows, of course, because cows that come of age or when the pasture is too full, when you have more than 20, they will automatically start slaughtering. Here cup, I love the way the sun dances on the water. Oh, nice. Here comes the brickworks. Just some stone and everything is in. 
And they can completely build the brickworks, the first one. I like that. Well, it's actually going a little bit faster than anticipated. Okay. There's some white line issue here, but that should be uh, solved next time we load up because that doesn't seem to be a permanent issue. Right, I'm going to tell them that they are going to slaughter some extra animals. One, two, three. And that one can stay. One, two, three. And four. Ooh, lots of bulls to be slaughtered right now. One. And that's it. One, two, three, four, five. And this one's also almost of eight. Six. All right. So we're going to get a lot of leather soon. Yay. We can really use that. All right, I'm going to move this brickworks up as well, because we don't need it yet. I don't even think we have enough people to fill this one. We're going to get this brickworks done. Let's get the warehouses and the cart parking and, of course, the platforms. We might even build the platforms first. Uh, then we can do the village house and the next sheep farm. That should be fine. And I'm starting to think we should really expand our housing this way too now. Somehow. I don't want to get it too close to all the industries, but we'll see. At least we can plan some extra mixed garden houses. So if we just rotate it a bit and we hit the F1 button. And there we go. Yeah, it does say that sometimes, but it's just not true. We just have to place this one first then. And usually then it works. Yeah, now it works. So we're going to go all the way right there. All right, that's the longest it can go. Somewhere here. All right, there is one house. Of course, I rotated the house the last, and then you get those little wonky things. But it's fine. There we go. Two right there. Here. I hope they can keep walking here. Might be a little terrain issue again, and uh, we might have to move this house later on. We'll have to just keep our eyes on it. That's another one. We just need the uh, the houses up, of course, for the workers. We need to have more people in. No more market stall close. Oh, we'll fix that. Don't you worry about a thing. All right, we can do it like this too. That's okay. Then we'll place one in here. We'll get the market stall at some point. And they grow enough food for themselves anyway. So they don't even need a market stall. Maybe for clothing, but that's it. Alright. And there we have four extra houses. I don't think the brick arches will be up by then already. So we'll do it like this. Okay. Uh, do these have enough water around? That is probably a good question. What I'm going to do is place a little well here. No, I'm going to place it right here in the middle of this little square. So that they can all get water here. Then we'll plant some trees around here in some of the corners. And then they have a well here. Let's just move it up because I want that well done too. Messenger from Merefa. Warm clothing. Uh, let's do 250. But at least have a little bit of warm clothing. Because right now I think we're completely out. And that might not be the best solution. Let's sell some of that. And that's it. Okay. Well, it's October, so all their harvests are starting now. So they'll get everything in. Brickworks completed. What a lovely message. Let's start setting it up. And yeah, that's okay. We're going to start with four workers if they can actually find those. I hardly doubt it, but oh, already one. At least that's one. Let's set it to uh, three badges, by the way. And then once we really start to get some bricks in, we can move the arches up, for instance, and get them going. So that might all be very nice. We now have two workers in there, so at least they can start 
will take them quite some time to get everything in, but um, yeah, it will be fine. Question probably is, now that we get these big garden houses here too, what should be next? I think what I'm going to do is build another big garden house area here. And then we can do a small house area, just like the ones that we have here, over there. And then we'll do just like one block of these, so that we do get a bunch of workers in there. Because we do need them up here. So I think we can already start planning this now. Let's just rotate this around, go like this. Of course, hit the F1 key. We'll make this as long as possible. It can be slightly longer than on the other side, but that's okay. Let's move this over a bit so that we don't get a, a too long complaint too early. All right, somewhat like this, I guess. Okay. Is this a little bit straight? I have no clue. It should be fine. All right, then we go here. We'll build the next one. No market stalls close by. I know. I know, don't worry about market stalls. They'll be fixed soon. Okay. Then we'll do one right here. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think this is the best way that we're gonna to, going to approach this. It is, after all, a Max Garden House town, so having a lot of Max Garden Houses is, is part of the whole deal, so that's great. But it's just better to also have some different houses, and we are working very hard to achieve that right now. And this is a big area covered, so now we can do the other area with the normal houses right here. I think that works. So this is a good start. These are, ooh, they're really busy now gathering the goods. We just need clay, sand and stuff. So let's get the um, cart parking up so that they can use that. Let's set this one up for bricks. And then we're gonna put 10,000 bricks in here. That's good. I like that. Yep, this one is busy. This one is gathering materials. It just needs sheep hides, so and we're not really slaughtering sheep yet. And I guess with all the amount of stuff that we are slaughtering right now, it might be better if we get a slaughterer that we use one for cows and one for sheep or something like that. There's beef in there. I thought we are selling beef as well. Are we selling some beef? Yeah, we're selling beef right there. We're just not putting it in here. Um, well, what should we get out then? I guess the sunflower oil can go out here. And then we'll put in some beef in here. So at least we have a place to store it. Alright, another messenger from Balaklia. That's great. That's nice. But uh, I don't have anything for you. Well, 500 sunflower oil. That's a deal. Oh, 999 potatoes. Ooh, and I can use... Oh, we have plenty of iron right now. We don't really need that. Okay. Oh, we need lime as well. Do you bring me the lime? Good. Well, that works. That basically means we get uh, a lot... Oh, we also need to buy the stones, by the way, so that their stone production goes up. Because we have no unlimited stone on this map, so we do need to import stone at some point, especially if we want to get a lot of row houses. So it's better to start with that straight off, so to build a big stockpile of that, then do it another way around. Somebody has the flu, that is most unfortunate. They're building a platform here, which is an easy job. This guy can do it on its own. There's a lot of guys walking in to help him out, but hey, you're too late. Now they're going to go to the warehouse here. Luckily, they're smart enough, so they will straight go to the warehouse. Not everything is there already, but most of it is, so they can really start to build already. And I just can't wait for the first batch here to start. That would be so cool. Let's get those bricks going. Here comes another warehouse. Well, if it's done, we get space for 20,000 bricks to be stored. They can also store some in the brickworks, so um, I guess that will be interesting. How's our farm doing? Was it done in time? Is it completely done? 
No, it's not completely done yet. Although most of it's done, they just have to bring in some of the goodies. So that's great. Uh, so well done. Good job. This is now completely emptied out. So we have a lot of ladies available to do different jobs. I like that too. Sheep farm will be built at some point. Interesting that it already has so many resources in. Oh well, all is good, all is fine. As long as we have fun. Ooh, 200 more, 250 more, 200 more, and a lot more. <laughs> well, here come the builders for the finishing touches with the warehouse. They were just all there to start building and nobody brought the wood yet. So now that it is in there, we can actually finish it. There it comes. And there is our warehouse. Let me store some bricks in here. Not that we have any yet, but we will. Let's do apply. Oh no, not apply to all, because then they will all be emptied out with persons. Apply to all and apply to all. Now we will probably have persons in here. Yep, they're looking for it. We don't need that, so let's get them out. Only put persons in the building if you need them. Now in here, I like to use them sometimes to really speed up the picking up process of things but we can also see that there's laborers here but yeah this one is also supplying resources and i like it if they do that so sometimes i put workers in there sometimes i don't it all depends on the situation i am however going to make a place for an extra slaughterhouse What's this? The shoemaker. We might need an extra shoemaker at some point too. So I'm not going to build the, sh the um, slaughter house right there. Question is, will there be a solution to the uneven terrain problem right here? Not really. No, you can move it up a bit. That might work. So we just have to get it a little bit higher. Okay, we can do that. There it goes. Now let's build another slaughter house. Let's see, this needs a thousand bricks. That's what they're making if the brickworks actually starts working. So, they almost have all the clay and it's actually all coming in. So that's done then. Then they still need 150 sand, some water and some charcoal. Let's see if we can get the extra workers in there. Because then we get the first thousand bricks. And once that's in, we can start working on our first arch and i guess once the first batch starts the second one will come in soon too that's another 100 sand and another 50 sand so the sand's all in now i believe wasn't it oh i thought it was oh he's getting it now there it is and then oh yeah all the water is in as well so now they just need to get a charcoal well it's all laying here so the shooting will be too hard Alright, well, now this house comes up. Then we have all the garden houses again. They can still walk here, even with the um, things plotted here. So that's great. Well, we make progress. And if we take a look at the town like this, it's really a mixed garden house town. So I think we did okay. Still lots of work to do, but we're getting close to the first bricks. And that will be very helpful in making sure that we um, start working on some row houses, getting some other people around town as well. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much and bye bye.